Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To print an existing sales form, open the sales form to print. If the sales form uses the old layout, then click the print or preview button in the toolbar at the bottom of the window. In the pop-up menu that appears, you will see a print later checkbox. You will also see a print or preview command and a print packing slip command. To print the sales form, click the print or preview command to open a print preview window. Alternatively, if using the new layout invoices or estimates, click the drop down arrow on the green button in the lower right corner of the sales form and then select the print and download command. Doing this then opens the PDF preview of the form in a new window or tab. In the print preview window or tab, then either right click the preview and select the print command from the pop-up menu that appears, or click the print icon in the PDF previews toolbar to open a print dialog box that lets you print the form. If you cannot see the PDF preview or you cannot print, you can click a button in the toolbar of the PDF window to save or download a PDF copy of the sales form, which you can print from your computer using a PDF viewer, like Adobe Acrobat Reader, for example. After printing it or downloading it, you can then close the window or tab. Alternatively, you can also batch print many sales forms at once using the Batch Actions button at the top of the list on the Sales Transactions page. To open the Sales Transactions page, hover over the Sales link in the navigation bar, and then click the All Sales link in the side menu that appears to open the page in the area to the right. Then check the checkboxes next to the items to print in the list. Then click the Batch Actions button above the Transactions list. Select the Print Transactions command from the drop-down menu that appears to open a new tab or window, which shows the forms you selected in a PDF viewer. After previewing them, click the Print icon or right-click a preview and select the Print command that appears to print the forms. When finished, close the tab or window to return to the Sales Transactions page. If prompted by QuickBooks Online to mark the selected transactions as printed in a dialog box that then appears in this page, you can click the Yes or No button as desired. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.